Ah, uh, IL-2 Stamovic 1946. Forgotten Battles, Ace Expansion Pack, Pacific Fighters, PE-2 Peshka, and Sturmovics over Manchuria. Remember these titles, guys? I sure do. I remember racing down to the local computer store back in 2003 and grabbing this game when it first came out, getting it home, installing it on my somewhat prehistoric computer. It ran OK, but I remember being so frustrated about how hard this game was to play. So how is this game in 2023? Well, several reviews on YouTube will tell you that it is still a fantastic game and I cannot agree with them more. Now, couple that with the Dr. ADHD 3.5 degree of freedom motion simulator platform, soon to become a 4.5 degree of freedom motion simulator platform, incorporating my new surge axis. This game is sensational. Sure, it's a little bit old and dated as far as the graphics go, doesn't have all the modern day shaders that the new Great Battle series has or DCS World, but this is a fantastic platform to learn how to fly a combat flight simulator. So I would encourage you guys to have a think about grabbing this. It's dirt cheap from GOG or Steam and it runs on modern hardware. It'll run on Windows 10. So I'm just going to do a simple tutorial today guys on how to install multiple copies of your vanilla version of IL-2 Stermovic found at GOG or Steam. This way you can download all your favourite mods from the SAS community, the BAT mod, the VP mod, whatever it is that you want to install. I'm going to show you how to get that happening today. So sit back and enjoy guys and let's jump straight into this. Hey, 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 and welcome back to the channel, Sim Racing Junkies and Flight Simulator Junkies. So what I'm going to do, guys, is first and foremost, I'm going to go into my C drive on my computer. What you choose to go into will be up to you, but my C drive has the most amount of disk space to create more folders. So I'm going to create a folder. I'm going to call this IL2 Sturmovic VP Mod. So I'm creating a folder to copy my original vanilla GOG download into, okay? That's what you will do. So now I need to find that original IL-2 Sturmovic folder. Here it is here, guys. I labeled it when I uh, downloaded it as GOG vanilla. So I know this is a folder that is just the original download from GOG that has nothing else in it. I just need to simply right-click on this folder and press copy. I'll go back now to the folder I just created to install a new mod into, which was our IL-2 Stermovic VP mod. I'll select that, right click and paste. Please, please make sure you download all of the Windows updates, otherwise you could be violated. Yeah, you would never be violated from Microsoft themselves, only from really bad people, but never from Microsoft. So anyway, we're waiting for this to complete. And it's a little bit slower than normal, so it looks to me like we're kind of stuck on 60% here. Oh, computer says no, computer says no, computer says no. Oh, computer says no, computer says no, computer says no. So anyway, guys, I'm going to just skip through this in the video and we'll resume when this is actually copied. Okay, once that GOG Galaxy vanilla folder is copied over into this IL-2 Stermic VP modded folder you created, double click on that. And here's the files we've just copied and installed into the uh, VP mod folder. Double click on that. So this is all your material you just copied from your GOG Galaxy. You've made a duplicate. Come all the way down, guys, and find the launcher. Here it is here, this little image here, same as on my desktop here. Right click on this and run as administrator. I just do this all the time now habitually and confirm the game is indeed working. And so this is everything you get in the GOG Galaxy download, guys. These are all the uh, expansion packs, all the packs and updates. Important also to make note of what your version number is down in the left-hand corner here. Version 4.12.2M, that is what's required to run the VP mod from SAS. Once you've confirmed that your IL-2 GOG Galaxy version is actually working and you've confirmed that you have the 4.12.2M patch already installed in it, 
quit out of the game. So what we're going to select today, guys, for our mod is the SAS VP mod for IL-2 Sternovic 1946. So what you'll need to do, you'll need to go to your uh, preferred browser. Just do a search, guys. You can see here I've typed in IL-2 Sturmovic 1946 VP mod. So if you type that into uh, Google search, for example, you'll see the sas1946.com website. This is the specific one we want here. So click on this, and it will bring us to where the VP mod download area is, okay? This is the mod. You can read about this. It will explain what this particular mod does. We're just going to download this one today because I've got the bat mod installed, but I haven't got this one installed. So I'll kill two birds with one stone. I'll get a video out there and I'll get this mod for my own enjoyment. So as you can see here, guys, there's a bunch of zip files that need to be downloaded for this mod to work. And the only requirement is the SAS IL-2 4.12.2M Mega Patch, the GOG Galaxy version that you've just downloaded. It already has the 4.12.1M patch already comes with that download. So you don't need to install this. So I actually downloaded this, guys, as a torrent. Um, rather than downloading all of these files individually, I would recommend use a torrent. If you haven't got a torrent, download something like uh, QP torrent or uTorrent, something like that. Then you can download this as a torrent and you get all of these in one. That's what I would be doing if I were you guys. The only other thing that we need for this, guys, before we unpack everything into our directory that we have created, this window here, guys, this config.ini, you need to copy these parameters here and these need to go in the... Sturmovic ini file right at the end of the ini file. I'll show you how we do that, but you just need to get these as well. This is an optional thing that you can have, but this will change things that may be beneficial or not beneficial. There's a couple of other things we need to do in the ini file when we go into the ini file to paste these parameters, and I'll take you through that as well. But grab these, put them on a notepad or something. Just double check, guys, that indeed you do have the 4.12.2M patch with the GOG Galaxy. You should have, mine came with it, can't see why yours wouldn't. If it doesn't for some reason, you will need to get this patch and that will need to be installed before you install the mod. Come back to the desktop, find where you've downloaded the IL-2 VP mod install. So whether you uh, downloaded them individually or whether you downloaded the torrent, you need to get that guys and you need to find where you've downloaded that too. You need to open that and you're gonna have 16 zip files, right? What you're going to do, guys, is you're going to create a new folder to unpack these into. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go to my C drive once again, because C drive is where I have space. I'm going to create a new folder. Spoiler alert, I've already done this, guys. I'm going to call that folder VP Mod Unzipped under my C drive. You can call it whatever you like. Create a folder to unpack those downloaded files into. Then you will simply go back to the folder that your zipped files are in. You will right click. So where I had mine installed was under IL2 Downloads. Okay, there's the folder with all of the zip files in it. You just left click, highlight everything, right click, and then on 7-zip here, guys, extract files. Right, do that. Then you will find that folder that you just created to unpack these files into VP mod unzipped. Now I've already got this already extracting in the background. So it's already extracting the files into that folder. And then you will simply say, okay here, once you've navigated where you want those files to unzip. Once you've done that guys, they will unpack. They'll take quite a while to unpack because it's we're talking about over 10 gigabytes of material here. So once they've unpacked, um, we'll go through how to now get them into your IL-2 Sturmovic VP mod folder. Okay, once those uh, SAS VP mod files have extracted into your folder of choice, onto your drive of choice, guys, find them. And here they are. So what it's done is it's unpacked a whole bunch of folders that we now need to put into our vanilla version that we've just duplicated of IL-2 Sturmovic 1946. Grab all of these, left click and highlight them. I'm gonna cut these because I don't want doubles. Rightio, I'm gonna to go to the folder I created. Here it is here, IL-2 Sturmovic VP mod. 
Double click on him. Double click on him. Here is our vanilla folders. Right click on this. Paste. Now this will take a little while to paste these in and we will at one point guys need to overwrite some of the folders. Here we go. Replace the files in the destination. Yes, I want to do that. Yes, I want to do that. Yes, I want to do that. And if you say that in that voice to your computer a few times, absolute magic will take place. Okay, that's doing its thing. Now the other thing you need to do guys is you need to find where you have placed the any file information. So the last thing we need to do is we need to get into our config file here, guys. In our, You can see here the SAS folder, etc., has installed into our virgin vanilla folder. <laughs> so we'll go to config file here. Okay, we'll right click on that. Let's open this with notepad. Now, remember, we needed to grab that any file information off the SAS website. Find where you uh, saved that to as well. You will need to do that. For me, it was in this portable drive. It was under IL2 downloads. Here it is here. Okay, I'm going to highlight all of this. I'm going to copy that. Goodbye. Goodbye. And back to the any file that we need to place this in. We need to go all the way to the very bottom of the ini file to where we see down our dgen here. Click underneath this, right click and El Pasto. We might just create a space there because I'm paranoid. So I'm just gonna create a space between the dgen stuff this was at here and then where we've just pasted uh, the ini file parameters that we got from the SAS website. Save this, guys. Save, save, and save again. You can never save this too many times. Close that down. No, open this back up again. The doctor's getting a little bit out of control here, guys. Right, a couple of things we need to do. We need to set up how we want things to look on our monitor. Now, I'm already happy with this. I'm going to leave it at that. That's all we need to do there. Now, the other thing I strongly recommend you do, guys, is to delete the intro video scene disable that it's already disabled as you can see now this is this is what you would change if this was to say one then make it zero so then the intro movie doesn't automatically start when you start il2 stemovic otherwise that is a pain in the ass it takes forever to go through it sometimes it won't let you escape it and it can freeze up your computer and do all sorts of silly buggery to your life so what we've done is we've now created our VP mod game that we can play. Let's find the launcher. This is now our launcher here, IL2 selector, right? So we will ignore that guy that we opened before. Now we go to IL2 selector. Let's double click on this and let's see what happens. Oh, look at this. Isn't this exciting? It's saying that I've got good RAM. Uh... Let's have a look at change settings and some of the things that we may be able to do here. As you can see, guys, we've got a few different lists here of stuff that we can do. The stock game, classic mod game. Just make sure that SAS Mod Act is the one that you select. Uh, you can change how much RAM you want to use. I'm just going to leave it on here where it says 512 mag. I'm happy with that. Everything else here, guys, I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to save the settings. And then let's run this now and wow, let's see what happens. Oh, look at this. Well, I hope you guys can see this. Sometimes uh, uh, OS, uh, OBS doesn't pick these things up, but we've got a sexy starting IL2 1946 splash window that's come up here. This looks like something's actually working. I really hope this works for you, peeps. I really do hope it works for you and you don't have any issues with getting uh, this mod installed or your original GOG Galaxy download copied and duplicated. It's all pretty straightforward stuff. So I hope you don't have any issues with it. Uh, you just need to double check that you do indeed have the version 4.12.2M. Don't get the 4.13, because sometimes you can end up with that. It's actually a later patch, and it won't work with that patch. Now, there is a... Uh, IL2 Sturmovic Unpatcher that can be downloaded, which will enable you to actually roll back the 
4.13 version to the 4.12.2M version. So if you are actually in trouble and you have, for some reason, the 4.13 version, you'll need to find the IL-2 Unpatcher. Now, that can be also found at the SAS Community Forum. All right, here we are. We are in the main uh, UI. That stands for User Interface. Ah, yes, the User Interface, the place where the user gets to interface with the game. Let's quit out of this now, guys. Go back to our desktop. Now, just to elaborate on the IL2 selector here. In the change settings with these options here, unless you have the appropriate mod folders installed in the folder, you will not be able to access some of these mods, okay? So for us, that's why I'm saying for this particular mod, the VP mod, it is mod act that needs to be selected and then saved. Okay, now we don't need to come to the selector every time we want to run IL2 Stermovic VP mod patch. Let's close this. Let's do the last thing we need to do to make this mod complete and easy for us to access. Let's go back to where we've installed our VP mod into its main folder and scroll all the way down past the IL2 selector. Down a little bit further will actually give you the executable to run the VP mod. Let's right click on that. Let's send to desktop create shortcut and here it is over here as you can see I've taken the liberty of renaming my vanilla version of IL2 Stermovic just to IL2 vanilla this was my bat mod executable here I've renamed it to IL2 bat mod so let's do the same with our VP mod executable and let's rename this and I would name this whatever you've named your folder to install this mod into. So I'm just going to call it IL2VP mod. And that is really it as far as what we need to get multiple folders set up for multiple mods. Modding is now up to you peeps. It's up to your discretion. It's up to your taste as to what mods you would like to try. The next mod I think I'll try is the vintage mod which brings in 1915 to 1930 era planes. I haven't tried that yet, so I'm going to find that mod and I'm going to install that and give that a run at some stage. My friends, I was going to do a section on how to start Stermovic and how to get all of your keybinds and mapping set up in IL2 Stermovic so then you can have a pleasant, hassle-free experience with getting started with IL2 Stermovic. Well, this video has gone far too long, peeps, for me to add that on to the end of this video. So my apologies for that. So indeed, it will be in the next video that we're going to cover how to get started with IL2 Stermovic, how to get all of its mappings and key binds bound in game for a pleasant, enjoyable experience with IL2 Stermovic. This will be quite an extensive tutorial because I will be introducing the anti-micro app to help us bind bindings to modern joystick peripherals. You will have issues with IL2 Stermovic recognizing more than a couple of controllers. So we can use anti-micro to help us achieve what we need to achieve in IL2 Stermovic, just like we have used that for GT Legends and R Factor 1, for example. I will include a link in this video to those videos for those that don't understand what I'm talking about with the anti-micro map. Click on that link and you can watch that tutorial to understand the key mapper anti-micro and how to use that with older games to get all of your buttons working on all of your peripherals on your sim rig. So until then, you guys stay safe, stay healthy and take it easy out there.